Jerry's Beam Engine Part 4. In this video we'll have a look at making the eccentric strap. Quite a detailed part and quite has to be quite accurate as well. So anyway we'll have a look at the machinings of that and um, we'll go through the various stages. I've cut a piece of brass out and here we're just um, machining it square and getting it down to the size what we actually need. Well here's the piece of stock, all finished and machined and I've left it slightly oversized just to um, give it a final polish up at the end when the piece is made. Next the part had to be cut in half. Um, in the plans it said about cutting it in half on the bandsaw but oh, I didn't want to do this because that would just leave a too poor edge so I decided to use a 2mm slit and saw um, and by the time I'd cut my way through this would have left a, a decent edge which wouldn't take a lot of cleaning up and here's another shot just me cutting through This was the next procedure, we had to cut down and leave the tabs on for the screws which will hold the two pieces together. For this procedure I used the DRO for setting up and uh, machining to. This is because at some point when we get to actually putting the hole through the middle we're going to have to flick the piece over to machine the other side so it had to be accurate. Next was to drill and tap M3 threads into the tabs. Um, this is for the small M3 cap screws, which would then hold the two pieces together. Well here's the part, as you can see the slit and saw made a nice job of the cut and we're now bolted the two pieces together and then we've now got to put the hole through the middle. Well here's the piece back in the vise, um, we've got it up against the clamp, this is so when, at some point we're going to have to flick the piece over and machine from the other side, so we needed some way of registering the part in the vise. So I'll just use the clamp for that and then we're just using the edge finder to find the exact edges and then on the DRO we'll divide that by two and that will tell us the centre. So we've done that on the X and the Y axis. Once I found the centre, I drilled a hole through the middle and then used the boring head to bore the hole out to the size what I'd need. I then had to bore a step in from this side and if you look back at the picture at the start of the video you'll see what I mean. Um, I had to bore a step from this side and then flick the piece over and also bore the step in from the other side. And this was a reason for having the clamp on the vise so when I flicked the piece over it was going to end up in exactly the same place because the eccentric is quite a tight tolerance you know you don't want a lot of play in the eccentric so that was the reason for that
and here's a close up just of the main hole going through the centre uh, this is just a finished pass well here's the part so far as you can see we've got the uh, eccentric in place it's a bit of a tight fit at the moment but we'll you know after the running in of the engine that will then start to free up so next we'll have a look at machining the radiuses on the outside and then obviously finishing the piece off and that will be coming in part two of the video well i hope you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in part two, which is coming shortly.